Hi, this is Eddie Joe, and welcome to another video in a series on Excel tips and tricks. So the previous video I showed you how to do um, the drop-down list, the data validation using a drop-down list. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to use VLOOKUP, that is vertical lookup. So the idea is, um, if someone selects from this list a movie, that you'll have the parental guidance appear automatically um, on this side. So what will happen is it will compare the cell over here to these were over here and when it finds exact match it will return the one in the second column that's column one that is column number two so I want to show you two ways the same way but just two different ways of doing it um, so let's go back here so I click on that one the vertical lookup the V lookup uh, goes like that equal V lookup open bracket and then you will see it will it'll highlight or bold the bit that it wants to look at first and there's little commas in between the guide that it gives you so the lookup value is going to be this cell over here uh, next to it then you put in a comma now look at what happens here comma now it's looking for the table array which we will find in the the lookup values and it's going to be this range over here column one column two so I put a comma over there now it wants to see the column index number which is column number two that I want to return so I put number two over there and then I put in the range lookup I put in another column and now do we want an approximate match or an exact match we want to have an exact match so I just double click that one I close the bracket and I enter now you can see Jurassic World so the V lookup it compared Jurassic World um, to the Jurassic World here once it found it it returned the value in the second column and as before um, you can copy that down like that but there seems to be a problem there seems to be a problem so let me show you so this one you can see the range is that area over there it's the lookup tab E4 all the way to F8 so if I go to this one you can see that is E5 F9 so if I press the down arrow so it's comparing to the wrong area so there's two ways to fix it one is you can go and you can do the absolute cell reference you put a dollar sign in front of the E a dollar sign in front of the 4 and then a dollar sign in front of the F and a dollar sign in front of the 8 over there now I can enter and now when I copy that down you won't have any errors over there but that is not how we wanted it um, well it is but I'll, I'll show you what I mean let's um, let's start with this one let's copy this down all the way to there uh, then the not applicable at the moment is just because nothing has been entered on this side so if I select I don't know send it up to what I would, let's say uh, inside out I select that then you can see that one has changed and as I'm selecting these you can see that they change there is a way to get around um, this NA's over here which I will show you in a, a later video but that is the idea that you select something on this side and then it automates the process so you don't have to worry about typing it in and then also I just want to put that in the center so it looks a bit better so that is how a V lookup works so in the next video I will show you the exact same thing but how to make it easy so you don't have to worry about fixing this with a um, absolute cell reference. Thank you for watching.